is a YouTuber named J and J and Aaliyah is the full name J Da Hey Aaliyah J Da Hey Aaliyah Hey J Da Hey Aaliyah and welcome to my channel. Hey you guys, we're back with another video. If you already read that title, then you already know this video is gonna be a Q and A with your girl. And I did put on my Instagram for y'all to comment some questions last week, and y'all did. And it's so period. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, so today, I'm actually going to be breaking each one of these questions up into kind of like categories. And it's going to be in the description of which category is which. That way, y'all can reference um, different parts of the video for different questions. The first category is going to start off with college-related questions. The second one is going to be inspirational questions. And the last one, we're going to end off with personality. So therefore, we end off on a little lighthearted note. You feel me? All right. So let's go ahead and get to the next video. Say hey, boo-boo. Say hi. Y'all got this harness on. It's like it's one really, really big right now. Because I don't feel like fixing it. Now let's get into the video. There was a lot of questions that you guys did respond with. So, um... I did pick like my top five for um, most of the sections. If I do do more than like five or whatever, it's just cause you know, I'm feeling it for real. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, the first question, like I said, this section is gonna be college related. So how has life after college been so far? So for me personally, I feel like, I don't know, I feel kind of stagnant like i am doing things with like with my life like that like i'm clearly well not clearly i don't know if you guys know but i am getting my master's so i'm doing something with my life and i do have a job and everything like that but it still feels kind of stagnant like i don't really have like i'm not really doing much that i want to do but i mean i feel like that happens to the best of us where most of us feel like we should be leaving college and jumping into our dream career and stuff like that in which that's not that, that's not what happens for everybody um it has happened to most of my friends so sometimes like i get down on myself but like at the end of the day i do know that i will make it where i'm supposed to make it you know whatever's in god's plan will happen so i try not to stress too much about that um um outside of college you know you kind of see like who your friends are and stuff like that like who your college friends are and who like your friends that are like more so in the long run are and so you kind of like get to speak with them all the time and you don't also like it's just a word of advice just because y'all were really really close in college one does not mean y'all have to be close outside of college and two it does not mean that you have to talk to them every single day like how you did in college because leaving college is like you're getting in more into the real world so therefore y'all have stuff to do um so yeah y'all have more responsibilities with your job or whatever family stuff like that so don't expect that y'all have to be talking to them all the time either um so that being said um after college life it's pretty cool nothing crazy um not from my experience honestly not yet i guess we're gonna say not yet um so next question is what was my favorite part of college i think my favorite part of college not to sound not cliche or anything like that is my networking like as far as like making new friends and them actually pushing me further than what i already pushed myself it i really love that the most more so like pushing me to be more open with like just talking to people in general because i honestly was a very shy person and so now looking back on my personality before it's like dang girl why do you talk to nobody <laughs> but that's the only way you're gonna get to know information get to know people Cindy. sorry y'all anyway get to know people more information and like you know just putting yourself out there sometimes just taking a chance so i really appreciate the friends that did do that um thank y'all y'all watching this <laughs> um my next question is what's my major or what was my major I did graduate with a bachelor's of science um, in forensic science with a concentration of physical evidence and a minor in chemistry. Um, that sounds like a, like a huge mouthful for basically, I'm a nerd and that's okay. Um, <laughs> so basically, um, oh, and the second part of the question is why did I choose that major? So with forensic science, if y'all don't already know, no, I don't want to look at bones and all the other stuff. That's like the number one question I get. Either that or do you want to be a cop? No. So 
with forensics is a more um broader type title if you want to say um so therefore like my end all be all i just recently like kind of decided this um i knew the realm of where i wanted to go as far as my career with my major but i didn't know the actual career title name so just finding out <laughs> that i do want to be a criminal behavioral analysis i mean analysis a criminal behavioral analyst um and so basically that's just someone who studies like the behavior of a criminal why did the robber do what they want what they did type of thing kind of like getting in the mind set of the crime of the criminal so that's a little something on it um so yeah and that was really all the questions i had on college honestly not really many people ask questions about college but if you guys want to know more about college i can do a little video or more questions on college like, like if you had like any advice like if you got to start in college um if you're transitioning into um getting your master's like was the transition hard easy whatever like that then y'all can go ahead and comment some questions down below and i'll be sure to get back to y'all So the next section is going to be more like inspirational questions. Like I said, I got my little book, my notes in it. So my first question is, what are my main goals? The classic question. Um, so my main goal, honestly, like I said, really career-wise, is just to first get a step into the door, like, of, um, oh man, I got a mosquito. What? <laughs> I don't be one with nature anyway um my first step would really just be getting a step into the like the field of forensic science like whether that be a government job a lab job even though i really don't want to work in the lab but that just shows that you have qualifications for later on jobs stuff like that so just getting a foot into the door honestly as a short-term goal as a long-term goal obviously is to be a criminal behavioral analyst um and let's see other goals honestly it's just to be successful and wealthy and the reason why i say wealthy and not rich is because wealth is can be different multitudes of things like a platform to life whether that is like wealthy in like my blessings wealthy in my money wealthy in my career my happiness stuff like that so i honestly always say i want to just be wealthy not rich um and just overall be successful and happy happy because nowadays with a lot of people like there's not a lot of happiness especially with our generation going around like so honestly being happy happy successful and wealthy you know and being surrounded by people who share those same um goals and aspirations and life like that who will support me and that i will be able to support as well so yeah the next question is what inspires you to what inspires you Honestly, just the motivation to get into the lifestyle of um, living. So, if I know I want to live one way, it's like you got to put in that effort to do so because if you just sit there, nothing's going to happen. So, that, that probably is like the most motivational thing <laughs> that I have each day. That and God, because I know like, He has a plan for me, He has a plan for everybody, He has a plan for each and every one of us. And if that's not your relationship, okay, you do believe in, they have a plan for you um we include everybody over here so the next question is it's kind of like the same thing what's something that always motivated you and not a lot of people call that god my family friends who support me stuff like that they're making a lot of noise anywho and last question in this section is going to be who do you look up to Really, nigga? Okay. The last question in this section is who do I look up to the most? My mom. My mom has always been my number one inspiration. Like, no matter what. She's such a strong female. She's black female. And those who are black females, like, y'all already know, like, how it is to be in America in general. Born to be black, let alone be a female don't even have rights to your own body but we're not gonna get into that um that's such a controversial topic but yeah this my mother she always like supports me in anything that i do she always made sure that like i have a versatile learning you know how to change a tire to how to cook to how to sew stuff like that 
knowing that um, I'll always be fine in life. Like, it's always taught me to make sure that you're able to be good on your own, whether that's look like a man, a female, whoever I choose to be with, but in my case, it's a man. Um, I don't need a man. Basically, my man needs to be a plus, or he will be a plus in my life. So, yeah. And I plan to raise my child or my children in the same way. Whether that's for God, he should be able to do some things like for himself that a female does not have to provide for them. The female should be a plus in his life, so it's not no double standard for my son or my daughter. It's going to be both ways. I'm going to teach them the same amount of information they should know both ways. So now, my last section is going to be more personality questions, a little bit lighthearted, you know, more of those ones in the beginning was a little bit more inspirational and stuff like that. So my first question of my personality section is going to be, what is your least favorite soul food? My least favorite? Y'all don't hurt me in the comments, but mine is going to be collard greens. I do think they are good, but like, I would really have to like, really want them. Because most of all, I really, I love streaming and stuff. But, and then my favorite soul food is mac and cheese. No doubt about it. Mac and cheese and sweet potato pudding. Yeah. Next question is, favorite place to shop? That would be Frost. Or if y'all have a DD's discount where y'all at those two places and they're really the sister stores honestly and don't sleep on ross y'all some people really be sleeping on ross like ross really be having the stuff that y'all be wanting and all these different name brand main brand stores but you can get for cheaper in ross like think smarter not hard can i cook that stuff sam ain't kind of told y'all so yes i do think i can cook honestly i had people tell me that i can cook i think i can just cook like to my best abilities honestly i really think that i can cook anything if i like really set my mind to it honestly um not to sound like cocky and like that like just off the strength of like i watched my mom cook and stuff like that i cooked on my own i honestly be making up my own recipe and it's be coming out good so that's what's with things. i don't know i'm not no chef though i wouldn't say like i'm not making no gourmet meals though my dream car so I don't really know all the details of my dream car, but I do know it will be a G-Wagon. Also, a uh, all black Range Rover. Um, the next question is, are you in a sorority? Yes, I am in a sorority. I am a part of Zeta by Zeta Sorority Incorporated. The game is Zeta Spring 2020. And y'all can go ahead and look at those videos that I posted on my um, channel because I do have a Zeta Versary. Um, video that I posted as well as one of my other videos of like just updating on me on life coming back into like channel life and stuff like that that was also my anniversary so I have been a part of the sorority for two years and I have a lifetime to go um next is do you want any kids yes how many kids I my dream amount is gonna be two but I have a boy and a girl um Three is my max. I'll be very hurt if I get all boys. And I say this because I just know. I just feel it. If I get three boys, that's gonna be ridiculous. Three boys and dogs and a husband, that's a lot. That's a lot. And if you say it's not, you're a lot. I'm gonna slide down. My next question is, if I won the lottery, one of the most cliche questions. If I won the lottery, what would I do with money? Honestly, I'm not even going to be cliche. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be none of that. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm going to give it to somebody who's in need. I'm not going to lie because I am that person in need. Um, so first of all, I'm going to pay off my college debt. Any student loans, none of that, all that stuff, whatever. That's getting handled, first of all. And the rest, I honestly don't know what else I'm going to do. But I definitely will invest some of it as well. That way, it's like kind of like rainy day money type of stuff like that. Um, and use it later on. That, that was rude use it later on down the line but i'm definitely paying off my um my college loans that's always been my first thing if anybody asks me that question it's always gonna be that um next to see more creative question if i was stranded on an island and could listen to only five music artists who would they be 
So I had to think about this. My top three that really came to my mind would be Drake, Little Wayne, and Jill Scott. And I say this because I really love YMC and B. Honestly, I really feel like they should just get back together. Because I felt like they was making a lot of good music, honestly. But you know, they had their time. So I really like Drake and Lil Wayne for real. And I do love Nicki Minaj. But I don't think I would put her on my list, honestly. Um, I put Jill Scott because I just need something to be like chill and like mellow for real. You don't need to always have like rap music and stuff like that. And that's also with Drake, you know, he's really versatile with his music. Um, and then my next person was either her or SZA. Honestly, I feel like they're kind of like on the same vibe type of thing. But I think I might go with her, honestly. Um, and lastly, I really could not think of a like a fifth person. And so honestly, I just had to think about like who makes some real music for real. like some good music, but still real like the lyrics actually be some real info, you know what they talking about. So I think I just went with Lil Baby for real. Um, Cause he, he, was, he was speaking facts for real. So I went with Lil Baby. Now to end this video off, this is my last question. I actually want you guys to comment down below in the comment section, which one has to go? This is a question from y'all, but I want y'all to answer y'all question because I'm not starting no controversial thing because I do know my answer. But I want to see where everybody else's mind is at. Beyonce, Sierra, or Rihanna? One of them has to go. And then on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on instagram at j.xyyy that's three y's and that is the same name for my tiktok as well um i'm gonna go ahead and leave all that information in the description box down below last thing i wanted to say before i left go ahead and comment down below some videos that you guys would like to see because i'm running out of ideas y'all i need some i need some inspo we got me together we already a team okay so remember you guys to stay true stay you and stay blessed